Number one, Wednesday strength training we have for you. Approaching half past five. And I do not have my pot with me today. I have a kettlebell, I have a dumbbell, I have a heavy book. Just to give you an example of what we can use as a bit of resistance training. Oh, that's cool. We got some people here already. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Feel free to say hello. Tell me who you are, where you are, and what weight you have. I have my helpful book, my uh, dumbbell and my kettlebell. No pot today, but if you want to use a pot, if that's all you've got, then that's totally fine. As I showed last week, a pot is quite a worthwhile object. I'm going to use my dumbbell for most of it. I'll show you examples with the book, and I'll make sure you an example or two with the kettlebell as well. We're going to do a similar structure to last week, but I'll wait until everybody's here before we start. How is everybody's Wednesday going so far? It's a beautiful sunny day. I managed to get out on my bike earlier this morning and it was very nice. A little bit warm actually, which is not something I'm used to saying. Hello everyone, that's cool. We've still got a couple me more people coming in the door. That's great. Just make sure you've got plenty of space. Oh, that's cool. Carol has a kettlebell and a weighted ball. How big is this ball? Small? Big? Large, heavy, it'll work. I have a kettlebell too. I have an eight kilo kettlebell, five kilo dumbbell, and three, three and a half kilo book. If you don't have anything, a pot will do fine, as I showed last week. Just make sure you don't hit yourself with it, or worse, anybody else. Get some water nearby too. Feel free to crank up the tunes. See if you can drown out my voice. Just watch, you don't need to listen. We're going to run through a fairly similar format to what we did last week. We have, uh, we're going to have three rounds of work. We're going to do a strength round. We're going to focus nice and slow tempos. Then we're going to do a cardio round where we're going to pick up the pace. And we're going to finish with a bit of core round, which will be a happy medium. So keep your resistance materials, your weights, whatever it is. Kettlebells at the ready and Tina Turner on in the background. That is a great choice of music. If only I could put Tina Turner on as well, that would be truly wonderful. Maybe. Right, let's get started. Leave your weight at the floor, give your arms a shake. And let's get moving. Give your shoulders a nice big roll. All the way up and all the way out. So I hope you've had a nice Wednesday so far. We'll try and keep that going. If you've not had a good Wednesday, well then hopefully we can use this workout to pick you back up. And make it a good Wednesday. Let's bring it the other way, nice and high, all the way up. Loosen out those shoulders and breathe. Do your work. One more time. Come back to the middle and give yourself a little cuddle. One arm over and one arm under. Give yourself a nice big squeeze, stretch out the chest, stretch out your back. So the first round we're going to do is going to be slower strength work. There's not going to be any fast movements. We're just going to focus on control. All right, come back to the middle, plant your feet, and let's go for a little rotation. Side to sides, open up through the hips, through your lower back, and then start to let that back arm swing nice and wide just to help get a little bit more rotation. Stretch out through the shoulder, through the chest, and then bring it back to the middle. Feet outside your hips, weight in your heels, let's go for a couple of squats. Sit down, stand up. In a few moments, you may hear three loud beeps, and it's just my dishwasher telling me it's done. I'd hoped it'd be finished before, but it's not. Pleasures of working out at home. Weight through the heels, sit back nice and low. We've got a lot of squats coming for you in this workout today. We love a good squats. Two more. Nice work. Bring it back in. We'll go for a couple of lunges. We've got plenty of lunges to do as well. Drop your back knee. Push off the front foot and try not to wobble any more than I am. So we'll go four, three, two, and lucky number one. Right, we're going to take it to the floor. We've got a couple of press ups to finish off the warm up. Start on your knees or your toes, bend to the elbows, come down, and push back up. Nice and smooth. Breathe through it, keep it moving. Focus on that range. On your toes if you like, or bring your knees under your hips. One more. Hold it there and stand up on your feet. Nice work. Right. 
whatever you have, a kettlebell, a dumbbell, or a book. Grab one. And you're going to hold it nice and high on your chest, right against your shoulders. We're going to go for one slow squat, one squat press. Not that slow, but not too fast. So we're going to squat down, stand up. This time we squat down. As you stand up, you push to the roof. One squat, one squat press. Nice and smooth. Do not rush. The slower we go, the better. Sit down, one squat, one squat press. Give me a full extension to the top. Push your hips forwards, stand up nice and tall, and just feel that weight work as a bit of resistance against you. Can we go for two more? Big old push, one more time. Squat press, catch your eye, and hold. Nice work. We're going to take it to the floor. We're going to do some press ups. So, hands wide, knees or toes. We're going to focus on moving slowly, okay? We're going to count for two on the way down and two on the way up. When you're ready, we go one, two, one, two. Smooth and steady. Let your elbows come out and slump slightly down. Your shoulders should be forwards and don't let your body rest on the floor at the bottom. Let's keep that tempo. The slower the better. Down and up. We got three more. Keep this pace. Two more. One last time. Big, big squeeze. Push you back up and hold. Nice work. Take your time. Stand up. Grab your weights. Put it back up on your shoulders. Give me a nice wide stance. So, we're going to do a side lunge, but we're going to start in that fixed side lunge position because we're going to go out and back in to the same side, okay? Nice and slow. Sit back, push in. So the feet stay flat. We sit back, we stand up. Bend at the knee, bend at the hip, push forwards, stand up nice and tall. Breathe through it. Get as low as you can. We're going to go for four more. Down and up. Two. One last time. Hold at the top, right? We do exactly the same on the other side. So sit back, push forwards. Let's keep those feet pointing forwards towards me. You push your knee forwards over your foot. You sit your bum back. And you push back to the top. We don't want to go fast. We want to move slow. Down and up. Down and up. Two more. One last time. And then bring your feet back into the middle. Take your weight into one hand. Okay, we're going to do two bicep curls, one shoulder press. So with a slight bend in the knees, we come up to the shoulder once. On the second, you push. Down and down. One, two, and press. Down and down. Keep that flowing nice and steady. Two at the bottom, one to the top. Keep your core braced. Because the weight is on the one side, it's going to try and throw you around. It's going to try and put you off balance, but you're not going to let it. Core of steel. Can we go for two more? Yeah, we can. Up down, up and press. One more time. Big push to the roof. Control it down. And then we swap it over. Other hands, reset. Slight bend in the knees. Strong in the core. We go one, down. We go two, up and push. Down and down. Let's make sure we get a full extension at the bottom and a full extension at the top. So the arm comes all the way down, up, down, up, press. So the arm should be straight at both the bottom and the top. Big old push, drive it high. One, two and push. How about we go for two more? Keep it coming. If you want to make it harder, whatever you're holding on to, 
give it a squeeze. Try and crush it in between your hand. That gets the forearm working and just to make it a little tougher. Nice work, bring it down and hold it there. Keep a hold of the weight, so you're going to bring it into two hands. We're going to start again. One squat, one squat press. Same slow tempo. Back to the shoulders. Let's go. One squat, one squat press. I know you want to move faster. I know you can move faster, but I want you to fight that temptation. And I want you to focus on getting to the end. One squat. One squat press, nice and steady. Again, full extension, lengthen out your whole body, push high, one squat, one squat press. Let it flow. Two more. One squat, one squat press, one more time. Big extension to the roof, down and hold. Nice work, ditch the weight, come down to the floor. And we go for our press ups again. Hands wide, knees or toes. We're going to move slowly and we're going to go 12 times, okay? Down for two and up for two. Down and up. Slow and steady. Breathe. Control it. Don't move anywhere else. Bring your shoulders forwards. Chest comes down and we really drive that floor away. All right, that's six by my count. Keep it coming. Don't pick up the pace. We gotta push on through. Four more. If you can go slower, go slower. If you have to, go quicker. Last two, come on, hold tight, big finish. One more time. To the top and hold. Hold on, take your time, stand on up. We're going to go for a side lunge again. So, nice wide stance, weight high on the chest. Let's go to the right first this time. Out and back in. Out, back in. So stick your bum back. Keep that knee pretty much above the foot. We don't push it forwards. We bend at the knee, we stick your bum back and then we push forwards. Down and up. How about two more on this side? One more time. Up and hold. Reset. Other side. Down and up. By moving slower, that allows us to focus on the range a bit more. More depth, more work, more fun. Breathe through it. Push to the top. Three. Two more. One last time. Bring the feet in. Nice work. Take a second. We're going to start on the other hand. Two at the bottom, one at the top. Knees soft, core braced. Let's go. To the shoulder, to the thigh, to the shoulder, to the roof. Down, down. Keep it going. If you're using a kettlebell, as it comes to the shoulder, let it roll around and then roll back. Yeah? Nice and smooth. One, two, and press. I don't like using a kettlebell because it bounces off my watch and it scratches the face. Easy as that. I can take my watch off, but I'll just use something lighter instead. Lucky me. Two more on this side. Because we can. Up and push. Bring it down. Let's go one more time. Big press to the roof. Control it down. Swap it over. Other side. We go one, down, two, push, down and down. Again, try not to let it pull you over. Keep yourself square, strong, and brace through the core. One, Two and press. Knees are soft, that way we engage through the quads a little to keep us balanced and stable. We've got two more on this side, keep it coming. One more time to go. One, 
two and push, and all the way down to the floor. Nice work. So that's our strength round done. Nice and slow to really focus the engagement. Round two, we're going to pick up the pace. We're going to have more cardio move. Grab yourself a quick drink if you need to. Again, we have four moves. We're going to do twice through. And we're going to pick up the pace to pick up the heart rate. Our first move, I call it a horizontal thruster. So in a squat position, you squat down. But instead of going for an overhead press, you push out. Down, push out. Okay? We've got quite a lot of lateral movements. We've got some lunges. Optional jump lunges if you want a challenge and we're also going to swing your weight So please whatever you do do not let go of your weight when you're swinging it. I cannot take responsibility for holes in walls or windows So weight up onto your chest feet outside your hips Make it as quick as you like we're gonna go for 15. Okay squat down push forwards squat down push forwards We're going up a slight angle Reaching high, push it forwards, push it forwards, nine, ten, five to go, drive your hips through, stand up tall, two more, one more, catch it and hold it, it's good, we're going to keep the arms of, there's a dishwasher, long step back, arms to 45, we meet in the middle, Push back. Two, three, four, five. With your weight, this is going to work your shoulders, your upper back, as well as your core. Seven, eight. We've got 12 to do. Whoop. So we got two more. Try not to lose your balance. Nice work. Whew. Take a second. Other side. Step back. Arms up. Bring it in. If it's too heavy, just put the weight on the floor and just go empty handed. Yeah? Nice and long. Squeeze it in. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Good. We're going to lunge. You can either back step or you can jump. Nice long straight or a jump change. You choose. 12 on each side. Let's go. Drop that back knee, push off the front foot. If we're jumping, stick the landing. Land soft, change, change, change. 12 on each side. Make it count. We're here for a while. Almost there, finish out your 12. Once you've done your 12, you can hold. All right, hold your weight in two hands. If you're holding a kettlebell, it might be a bit easier to hold it by the horn. Two hands, bum back, swing forwards. Nice big lateral movement. Please keep hold of the weight. Do not let go unless there's a sofa in front of you and you have good aim. So bum goes back, hips go forwards. We get the back of the legs working hard to make that weight fly. How about we go five more? Four, three, two, and lucky number one. Nice work. Four quick moves. Gets the heart rate going. I don't think we should slow down. I think we should keep that pace up and go straight into the next one. Sound like fun? I'm going to face the other way just because I can. We're going to do our squat horizontal press 15 times. The quicker you move, the quicker it's over. Ready, set, let's go. Down, push, down, push. Out at that 45 degree angle, drive it out in front of you. As you sit down, strong through the midsection to keep everything braced and powerful. Five more, four, three, two, one. Good. We keep that long position, arms up, knee in, out, 12 times. Bring it forwards. If you need to, remember, just put the weight down and move quick. Long levers, so it does make it quite tough, but get your 12 done quick. 10, 11, 12. Quick change, 
Other side, arms up, leg back, let's go. Breathe through it and keep it flowing. A little standing crunch that gets us working. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Lunges, step or jump. 12 on each side, your choice. We're keeping the weight nice and high for a bit of extra resistance. Jump if you can, step if you need. So whatever you do, make it count. Let's go quick. Let's get those legs cooking. Let's get that heart pumping. See if you can move a little faster. Quicker you move, the quicker those lunges are done. Make it count. Big, big push. Jump, jump, jump. Quick steps, quick steps. 12 times on each side, then hold. If you're still moving, that's fine. Finish it. If you're done, recover. Get set for your swings. Two hands on that weight. We go in three, two, and one. Hips back, push through. Let it flow. Push your bum back and then drive your hips forwards. Everything behind you, your hamstrings, your glutes, your lower back. That's what makes this move work. Can we go five more? Four, three, two, and one. Hold it there. Nice work. That is us done with our little cardio section. Take a second, grab a drink if you need. We're going to hit the floor for a little bit of core work to finish. Again, four moves, two rounds each. I will show you the first move. So bring your weight to the floor in a way that you can handle it. So we're going to start in a plank position on your knees or your toes. You're going to reach across, you're going to grab the weight, you're going to move it across. Hand down, swap it over. Yeah? Either in front of your hand or behind your hands, whatever you feel easiest. We're ready to roll. Knees or toes, grab the weight, across, pull it over, swap it over. Across, swap over. Take it slow. We are in no hurry. The slower we go, the more fun we have. You can do this on your knees if you need to. Focus on that stability through the core and your breathing. Yeah? We've got six to go. Now five. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Take a seat on your bum for me. We're going to hit my favorites, one of my favorites, the seated twist. Okay, so weight in two hands. We lean back. We're going to go 12 on each side, 24 in total. Feet up if you can. One, two, three. Feet down if you need to. Emphasize that rotation and go side to side. Side to side. Good news is that says halfway, 12 to go. Oh, I had a little sneeze there. Pardon me. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Come back to the middle. We're going to stay seated. Bring the weight up high. We're going to go for a lean and press. So you're going to lean back. You're going to push up. You're going to pull down, you're going to lean forwards. Work the range as much as you like, okay? So the further back you lean, if your feet come up, that's just going to make it even harder. So just judge the distance as you need to. Even ditch the weight if you like. Three more. Push, pull, forwards. Two more. Push, pull, forwards. One more. Excellent. Well done. Right, one more move here. Come on to your back. Legs out, arms out. We're going to go for our jackknife. So the weight is overhead. Bring it with you. Meet up in the middle. Down and back. Other side. Option is to bring your knee in and meet in the middle. Meet in the middle. But work the range for you. Make it count. Big push, nice and high. Aim for those toes. Breathe through it. Push, push, 
How about we go for four more? Two on each side. One, two, three. Ah, lucky number four. Good. Well done. Okay, final round. We're going to do that core again once more. So take your time. Come on to your front. Weight off to the side. Hands just under the shoulders. Knees or toes. Let's rock and roll. Grab your weights, pull it across, swap it over. Keeping your body as still as you can. If you've been coming to our circuits class or had been coming to our circuits class recently, we've been doing this with a sandbag. Big bag, drag it across, swap it over. Big bag, drag it across, swap it over. I think it weighs 10 kilos. It's good fun. We get six to go. Now five. On the knees is fine if you need to, but keep moving. Three, two, and one. Good job. Come down. Seat to twist. Grab your weights. Hold it in front. Side to side. Feet up, feet down. Your choice. But let that rotation take you as far around as you can. Is it just me or is it a little warm in here today? I got a little bit of sweat running down my nose. I'm not even meant to be working hard. You're meant to be working hard. I hope you're working hard. Keep it flowing. Halfway, 12 more. 11. 8. 6. 4. 3. 2. And 1. Good. Stay here, we're gonna lean back, we're gonna to push to the roof. So high on the chest. Lean, push, pull, in. Lean, push, pull, in. Lean back and bring those heels up if you like. Just don't forget to breathe. Push, pull, forwards. Lean, push, pull, forwards. Four more. Take it back a little further if you can. Just try not to land on your back. Not yet, anyway. Two more. Last time. Down and hold. Good. Right. Final move. This is it. Come on to your back. Legs out. Arms out. Come and meet in the middle. Yeah. Bend the knee if you need to. Work your range. Make it work out for you. Coming as high up as you can. Aim for those toes. Push, push, how about we go four more, nice and high, three, two to go, one last time, and bring it down and hold it there, Woo. very, very well done team, that's it, 30 minutes, done and dusted, grab yourself a quick drink, and then hop up on your feet, we'll get a stretch and then you can go enjoy your Wednesday evening no pot for me today so no looking too stupid but it's just to show you what you can use around the house for a little bit of a strength resistance workout don't have to go too wild to still get a bit of a sweat on and to still work those big muscle groups shake out your arms let's take one arm across the front, stuck it underneath And then we'll hit the other side. Fingers together in front, chin to the chest, reach forwards. And then roll it up, open out, lean back, pull your hands together, stretch out your chest. Down and around. Take a second, find your balance, grab a foot, heel to bum, knees together. Give the quads a stretch. We've done a lot of work on the legs. In this class so feel free to come back to some more stretches later on if you have time. Other side. Hold on right take that foot step it forward sit your bum back lean into your hamstring and then bring your toes up take a stretch into your calf 
And the other side. Step forward, sit back, lean in. Toes up. And then shake it out. Just give yourself a wee clap. Very, very well done. Thank you very much for coming and for working hard. I hope you had fun working out with a variety of weights in different ways. We have plenty more classes coming for you for the rest of the week. Obviously, we got our quiz on Friday night, which is coming along really well. Enjoy your evening, and we will see you all very soon. Thanks again.